Hi there, I'm John, and let's explore the electron density using density functional theory with a tool I developed. Schrodinger's equation is the core part of quantum mechanics, and it basically defines that electrons are not distributed as some kind of like a planet orbiting the sun, but rather as electron clouds, where you can guess the probable locations of where an electron might reside in, but you don't know the exact positions of them. Schrodinger's equation is composed of four parts. There's the energy operator, E, there's the Hamiltonian operator, which equals to the total energy, kinetic energy plus potential energy, and there's wave function, which is all about the probabilities. But things get a little more difficult when it comes to complex molecules like carbon chain or something like H2O, like water. Because Schrodinger's equation contains three axes, X, Y, and Z. When, when it comes to something like H2O, which has three atoms, three times three times three equals to 27 dimensions. Because Schrodinger's equation is inherently really difficult to kind of solve, it, it has really long steps. And to solve this on a computer as well, is gonna be incredibly slow. So that's the reason why we bring the density functional theory that ignores the individual interactions between electrons. This simplifies the n-dimensional Schrodinger's equation massively into a three-dimensional question.